What was it like to be um, get, getting your start in in um, world class where, you know, the hysteria that was surrounding the Von Erics and that entire atmosphere that's so mythological? Right, superstars. They are superstars there. They were superstars. And it really didn't hit me until we went to Israel. We were in Israel for like 10 days in 86. And we sold out a soccer stadium every night for like 10 days straight. It was amazing. And then Tel Aviv the last night. It was somewhere in Haifa, 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 whatever. I'm, I don't even know. I'm Jewish and I don't even know. I can't even tell you. But um, it was there was people standing outside our hotel room 24-7. We couldn't go anywhere without two bodyguards apiece. I mean, it was just like I had never dealt with that kind of celebrity kind of thing before. And it was really amazing. Never had it since either. Oh yeah. Well, in terms of the 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 rabid uh, nature of of the fans and how they gravitated to the Von Erichs, could you could you explain uh, based on based on your experiences just how how rabid that fan base was and and how they loved them. I mean, they loved the Von Erichs. They would always do the hook 'em horns with Texas Adam and just Carrie was a god. I mean, Carrie walked. If you saw him at the airport, you wouldn't know if he, if you didn't know wrestling, but you saw him at the airport, you would know he was a superstar, either a football player or actor or something. Cause he, he was a God. He looked like he was just a God. He was gorgeous. And, and doing record business. Uh, do, yeah. you, do, you have, do you have any, he used to do Monday nights, um, Fort Worth and Friday nights, Dallas every week and did great cards and made a living and was home almost every night, not on the road like they are now, but home almost every night and make a great living. It was such a great time. I got to start in the golden age of wrestling and I'm so lucky. I wish I could have started a little bit sooner, but I mean, I was only 21, so I guess I was starting pretty young, but I was really lucky. And and a lot of the fans uh, remember your your big feud with uh, Sunshine, <laughs> and and the big that that huge Texas Stadium match That's that you had in '86. Main event, main event, and the, mm. and, so, you know, and it pisses me off that WWE says that um, that Charlotte and them were the main event, first main event on a big card, and I'm like, what about the David Memorial, you know, the Von Erich Memorial um, in Texas Stadium, and we were main event, you know, what about that? They don't, you know, I did a lot of firsts and don't get credit for it, but that's mm. okay. I Absolutely. know. <laughs> Absolutely. What, what, what was it like uh, working that program being, you know, so new to the business and, and all uh, that? It was fun. I remember one time we were rolling around, I was laughing and she came at me afterwards and yelled at me for laughing. And I was like, I was having a great time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was so easy. She was so easy to work with. What a wonderful person she is. And mm -hmm. she taught me she taught me so much stuff. I really have to hand it to her. Who who came up with the uh, the famous loaded uh, Gucci purse? Well, thing? what happened was they wanted me to come out and hit start journey with the purse. And the only purse I had was my Gucci purse. And I was like, you want me to use my Gucci purse? wonder if it gets ruined. You know, I was worried about it getting messed up. I still mm -hmm. have it to this day. As a matter of oh. fact, it never got messed up. It got it's got blood on it. It's had snarf on it and everything else. But um, it was funny because you know I told her I was like I'm taking my Gucci purse out there. You know I was like so like distraught about the whole thing, but it worked out good. And now it's my gimmick, best gimmick in the world, mm -hmm. better than Paulie's telephone, better than Jimmy Cornette's racket. The Gucci purse is the best. And very memorable. What what yeah. was it? What was it like uh, dealing with uh, Fritz von Erich at the time that you he were? He was great. Uh, he was a great guy. He paid great. Wonderful man. Did awesome you man. did you ever have any? Um, I, I I know your your tenure was what it was. Did you did you ever have any uh, thoughts on on how remarkable the collapse was based on the hype that the the period that you were there yeah. and then the they bottom dropping out? Know, I think back now and I'm like, oh my God, we shouldn't have left and gone to the UWF. We should have stayed there till it died, you know, but if we would have stayed there till it died, who knows what would have happened? You know, you always think back, you know, later on in years, you know, oh, well, I should have done this or I should have done that, but other, you know, other things would have happened. So you never know. It's a shame mm -hmm. though, because they had a great thing going. 